All righty. Kirk here was riding. This is, and, not going, uh, this is not going on YouTube. I do not consent. He wrecked a little bit and he comes up. And I <laughs> never wrecked. <laughs> and he says, <laughs> it feels like I have a nerf in my ear. And I'm like, what in the world is he talking about? What's a nerf? So uh, he had me check his ear and we thought maybe he just hit his eardrum. Go on, Kirk. How's it feel? It feels like I have a piece of nerf <laughs> in my ear. So we looked. And he ran into a honeysuckle bush, and we looked out here when we got in good light, and he's got a stick jammed way up in his ear. Should have had a mask on it. Yeah, you can't see it, but it is up there. So I'm going to do some tweezer surgery and try and get it out. Pretty sure I got my good tweezers in here. Well, I knew it wasn't no hitting my eardrum because... I didn't have any shock on my head, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that we... Checked again? Yes. Since he's riding around all day, hit my head again with a stick in there. <laughs> yep, just like that. Sorry. No, just the pressure was just like, oh, shit. You got it, didn't you? Some of it. Oh my god. There might be more in there. Holy shit balls. There is. There it is. Ooh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> okay. So you can see in there. We've upgraded. Documented for like legal purposes. <laughs> case From see. the tweezers. <laughs> That's the first stick that came out. There's more in his ear. And I couldn't even see that when I looked. We were in the woods. To these. What are they called? Calipers. Calipers. So. No. Feeling any better? Feels any. Feel better after that stick came out. <laughs> but it wasn't poking me. That's the weird thing. Well, it's because it was touching your brain. Oh, yeah. That's a good, good spot there. Pull on my ear too if I Yeah, I will. I got you. Let go. You got a little bit of wax, I'm gonna get that out of the way because I can't see. I might pull a little ear here, I'm sorry if I do. Don't tweeze the hair out the wax out of it, it just You okay? <laughs> Pour it out. I didn't get it. Okay. Got a little bit further to go. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, I'm almost. I'm almost as nervous about it. Just get pushed further in. I know. Steer. Get that stick out. Steer it up. Some top down train. We were inverted at 20,000 feet. Man, these are curved, so it's a little funny. Maybe I should just try to flush it out instead of this. Bro, that's it. All right. I was a little too close to the, to the core of my ear. You got to go to the doctor. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys, we didn't get it. Hey, stop putting your finger in your ear. You cannot reach it. Yeah, I got you. Well, obviously not. You can't get it with those fucking things. I can't right. imagine. Yeah, well, fuck. Yep. It's about a Sunday. Ugh. Oh. I was not victorious. <laughs> that we're going to post this. Alrighty, so brief follow up. Uh, we got two pieces out. They're pretty big, um, but just kind of concerned there might be a little tip left in his ear. So Kirk is going to the urgent care, and he's going to try and uh, have them 
take a look and see if they can see anything. The last piece did have some blood on it, so that was a little concerning. Um, it's probably about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half in total. Um, and then it was probably the tip that we got out would have been probably at least two inches up in his ear. It's pretty far up there. So pretty concerning. Um, he's going to go get it checked out, make sure he's okay. Yeah, it stinks. So he's going to text me with some information once he's done. Hopefully it's good news and everything's out or they find a little piece and get it out. So we tried, did not get it all out. We got everything we could out, but ah, it stinks. Makes you think twice about wearing hearing pro when you're mountain biking. All right, take care, America.